In today's video, I'll be installing the quick latch system on my RX-8 front bumper, but more precisely on the side of the bumper and in another video, I'll do the top and the bottom. The reason for this install is to quickly swap between my stock bumper and my aftermarket one when I go drifting. So now I'll basically test to find the best position for the side latches as it is the most challenging part on the RX-8 due to the side indicator being on the very edge where it's most convenient and easy to install a quick latch. I'll put the link to this kit in the description so you can check it out. And also, if you're new here, consider subscribing for new RX-8 videos and mods. Alright, so to start, I have to open the hood. After that, I'll use this prying tool to pry out all the plastic pins holding down this plastic. When done, I can take it out. Now there are two bolts on each side of the upper part of the bumper. I'll use my ratchet to release them, but for now I'll take out only the two front ones and leave the rear ones in just a bit so that they hold the bumper. Next up, let's move under the front side of the bumper. Here we'll see these bolts holding the bumper to the plastic tray. Normally I would use my ratchet to take out all the front bolts, which are shown by these arrows, but in my case I stopped using the stock bolts because it just takes too long and I've just put zip ties because it literally takes me a couple of seconds to remove them. I'm only using the zip ties on the stock bumper which is, you know, not that good looking to begin with but for my new bumper I'll have a way better system to remove it. Anyways, with all the front bolts out, the lower front part is done. Now let's move to the side of the bumper. I'll turn the steering wheel all the way to the left to gain more working space on the right arch. Now I'm gonna remove the side pins holding the bumper in place. And here we go, nice and loose. Now there's a screw hidden at the bottom of the side indicator. I'll simply unscrew it with my screwdriver and take it out. Now it's time to push down on the blinker to detach it and then take out the side of the bumper. Just like that. Next, I'll slide out the side indicator. Now that it's out, I just have to turn the bulb to take it out and feed it out of the bumper. Now to turn the steering wheel on the right side and repeat the exact same process on the other side of the bumper. Now that both sides of the bumper are released, we can remove the two bolts holding the bumper in the middle and carefully start removing it. If I had fog lights, I'd have to disconnect the connectors first. I will think I'll use this position of this screw for the quick latch since it is in a useful position. So now I have to unscrew it and then take it out. So now it's time to remove the bolts holding down the plastic under the headlights. Two bolts on the front and then the remaining one on the side. With that done, I can take out the plastic. So now the hole where the first bolt was is a little bit too small for me to fit my rod through. So I'll need to drill it to make it bigger. But also I have to be careful not to drill inside the headlight. I'll also enlarge the hole so it's easier to slide the rod in and out. Now we have a good view of the space where I'll fit the quick latch. Now it's time to feed the rod inside the drilled hole, but it's a good idea to leave some space in the back for adjustment. So now it's time to take an object and position it like this to get the approximate length where the bumper will be. So more or less, this is where the bumper should sit and I'm going to mark the spot with a marker. The length that we need is 4 cm, so we have to cut the rod to make it shorter. And before cutting it, I'll screw a nut on it so I can re-thread the end once it's cut. So now it's time to shorten my rod by using a metal cutting saw. After that, I'll use this office corrector to mark the head on the rod so it can mark a spot on the bumper. Time to position the bumper and push in the side so that it rubs against the rod. With that done, I'll use this small drill bit to drill through that marked spot. And here it is from the front. Next, I'm gonna need this cutting socket that is the same size as the rear part of the quick latch button. Now to install it on this special drill bit that came with it. I'll use some masking tape to mask the area that I'm gonna drill through. With that done, I'll use a marker to punch a hole through the drilled hole so that it's more visible. With the drill bit on my drill, it's finally time to start drilling the hole. And there we go, now to peel away the masking tape. We can see that the drill hole is nice and clean. Time to take the quick latch button without the big nut and push it inside the drill hole until it snaps in place. Now I'm gonna screw on the big 24mm nut and tighten it firstly with my hand and then later gently with my ratchet. Now it's time to wipe away the white paint on the rod. I'll screw on a nut, put a washer on it and then I'll feed the rod inside the hole that I just drilled and on the other side I'll put a washer and then a nut. Now it's time to position the bumper and see if it clicks in place. Nope, something is interfering in the back. 
After inspecting it, I found out that this white plastic under the rod sticks out and prevents the rod ball to hook inside the button. So now I have to take out the rod and use my Dremel tool to cut that piece of plastic away. Just like that. I also noticed that the front nut is preventing the rod to go further in to make the bumper more flush with the rest of the body. So to fix this, I decided to replace it with a special wood nut, but in addition to that, I also decided to cut away the metal blades to make it nice and flat. So now this nut is perfect for the surface it needs to go to. To accommodate the new nut, I had to make the hole a little bit bigger. And there we go, so now everything is installed again and it's time to test the fitting. So positioning the bumper in place, the right side snapped in right away and also did the left one. But you can kind of notice this gap over here, but if you look at it from the top, it's relatively flush. The reason for this gap is that the piece that was on the inside of my bumper broke out, but if that piece would be in place, the gap would not be here. The fit on the driver's side on the other way looks pretty good. The removal of the bumper is pretty easy and smooth, but I think from a new bumper I will choose a new location for the side. We'll see. Anyway, the quick latch installation was a success. The bumper goes on quickly and also down. Let me know what you guys think. Also, how many of you have already installed quick latch and let me know your thoughts. As always, leave a like, subscribe and check out more videos on my channel.